if you'd like to take your the directory created or a, a directory from another data source and actually print it out in a, in a Word document so that you can see all of, all the results in a nice uh, report, um, the way you can do that is um, I'll show you right now. I'm going to create a new document, blank document, and actually for this I'm going to change the layout to landscape just because I know I need to have um, uh, the page turned sideways because I have so many records from this data source. I'm going to actually go under mailings and do this a little different than we've done the other ones just because one you can do it differently but also because this is the way the book does it. Is I'm going to go under uh, mail merge but this time select directory and then I'm going to select the recipients using an existing list which is our data source we've used for all the other projects. So I'm going to come in here, go to my folder where everything's saved, select my data source. Now I'm connected, but you might think, well, how do you know you're connected? Um, I can look here and I have all my data fields. Okay, the step before that, which I should have showed you, I did not have these data fields. So what I'm going to do here, and this is a very important step, is I'm, I'm looking at figure 6-76. I'm going to insert these fields, and after each field, I'm going to put a comma. And I'm not using all the fields, but I'm, I'm doing the ones uh, on 6-7, um, figure 6-76, which is on page 389. Okay, so I'm doing title, first name, last name, organization, address 1, address 2, remembering to put a comma between each of the fields, and then city, state, and zip code. Now, notice I have my paragraph uh, indicator on there. I'm going to hit enter. I'll show you why in a second. Now, uh, the the if I hit my preview results, notice it shows it for each each person. Now, when I hit enter, that that helped me a little bit because the last thing I want to do here, or not last thing, but this next step is I'm going to go to edit individual documents, all, and it put all five records on that uh, on that sheet. Now I could print that now and it would be fine, but I want it to format a little bit nice, a little nicer, and that's why I put commas between each of them because it's a little messy with the commas, but you'll see why in a second. So I'm going to highlight this information, go to insert table, I'm going to say convert text to table, and what will happen now is it will create a table and, every, and it'll separate items I separate text as commas, so everywhere there's a comma, it'll keep it'll it'll put in its own cell. So there I have now a nice um, um, table with all of the the items in there. If I turn my paragraph off, it, it looks even better. Um, I'm gonna actually go to save this as I'm gonna save it in my folder, and I'm gonna call this the directory. Okay, so this is a word document that has the directory. All right, that's how how that is done.